It's impossible to smear. Thanks, Dad. This really ruins it. What will you be having, sir? Yes, I'll have what I had last time. Pheasant on the glass. Don't you mean pheasant under glass? Oh, Peter, look, you can put your business card in this bowl and maybe win a free lunch. I don't have a business card. And I think you knew that. I hope you enjoyed your meal, sir. May I offer you... not how you use a toothpick. You pick your teeth with it. I cannot believe I have to explain this to you. There are gaps in my knowledge. This is hardly news. Wow, this is awesome. This is like I'm having a whole second meal. Out of town, where do people go to listen to live music around here? I'll handle this. All right, here's what you can do. Skip the live music. Get yourself a room over at the Wickford Marina. Take her out on a balcony, point to any boat in the harbor, and tell her it's yours. Now, you got rubbers? Now that I'm a toothpick guy, I call them rubbers. Or you could just pull... Hey, you the new kid? Why? Never mind why. Got any cool toys? Uh, I got an Xbox. How about you? I got a Barbie with a wiener on it. Took a thumb from a G.I. Joe, put it on with super glue. Looks pretty real. Real enough, anyways. All right, I'm off to the fish market. What? Why? Well, the most intimidating people are toothpick guys who work at seafood counters and make people uncomfortable for not knowing about fish. What's good here? It's all good. What's the freshest? It's all fresh. How about the halibut? Is it gamey? Gamey? Uh, when are you gonna get rid of that toothpick? It's disgusting, and it's starting to smell. Why would I give it up? It's getting me tons of tail. What? And check this out. The rare triple toothpick flip. <laughs> We've never used it once. Calm down. You can always get another toothpick. Oh, my God, you're right. Lois, we gotta drive to Smitty's right now and get one. Now? B but we told Chris we'd be there when he wakes up from surgery. Oh, maybe just an iceberg wedge, a steak, and some sides. Racisms. Oh, I wish the fun didn't have to end. I always enjoy spending time with you two. Why don't you come over tomorrow? We'll fire up the grill and have the gang over for a cookout. Well, that sounds wonderful. Well, great, we'll be there. Hey, before you two leave, let's take a photo. Boy, that Lois is really something, isn't she? Yeah. Peter's a lucky guy. Glenn, do you... Do you have feelings for her? What? <laughs> oh, beautiful. I've never been so in love with anyone. Glenn, that's very sweet, but... You're talking about your best friend's wife. I know, I know, it's wrong. And Peter's a good friend. Not like Cleveland. Hey, I got two of these phone books. Oh, sure. Cleveland, do you need to borrow some money? I do. They're gonna kill Donna. Really? No, I just want to buy a man's fur coat. Get out of here. Hey, Peter. I had an extra phone. Hard to tell. I was coughing the whole time. By the way, I couldn't figure out how to use your oven, so I destroyed it in a blind rage. Well, good night. Oh, after that steak, I gotta go lay down on the toilet. Uh, ah, looks like I got a couple of... I've loved her for years. She's warm and kind and beautiful. I've never been so in love with anyone. Oh, my God! Quagmire's in love with my wife? Hello? Peter, I'm having troubles on the toilet. Bring the... I've loved her for years. Oh, my God! He's in love with Lois? Yeah, and if you keep listening, you can hear a Puerto Rican busboy get fired in the background. It's pretty funny. He cries. But can you believe Quagmire? Well, I guess it's not that shocking. I mean, he has said a hundred times that he wants to... I'm gonna try to take Lois away from me. You know what? I'm going over there right now and hit him with a shovel like a white trash YouTube girl. Peter, wait, wait, listen. Delete that message and pretend you never heard it. What? Why? Because you weren't meant to hear it. If you act on this, all you'll do is... Well, I thought it was grape. Look, you've got to be the bigger man. you got to just keep this to yourself. <sighs> Fine, I won't say anything. Good. And don't be passive-aggressive, either. Like one of those songs in an old musical. You're a hit my life. Mm, pretty good turnout for this thing. Oh, yeah, Mort and Neil Goldman. It's like Coachella. How blessed are we to have all them boys to man just floating around in the sky? Glenn, Ida, you made it. Hey, Lois, I brought the hamburger buns like you wanted. I wasn't sure what people like, so I got some with seeds on them and some without. And what does he mean by that? Seeds. It's a cop who's like a fancy guy. Nobody heard that. None of you take that. What I meant to play was this. I want Lois. She's perfect. I've loved her for years. Pop cop. That could work. Glenn. End of
of cookout. Get out of my house and don't ever speak to me again. I've loved her for years. Oh, you still listening to that thing? It's like I can't even process why he'd feel this way. And maybe, yeah, maybe play it one more time. I can't believe this. I thought Quagmire was my friend. Peter, it's not that... I've heard. Allegedly. But not often. And never to Donna. Except when she wore those shiny gold shorts to parent-teacher night. Oh, yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was so tacky. But if Quagmire actually has feelings for you... I'm, I'm a... um, not that I recall, no. Look, now that this is settled, maybe you and Glenn can put this behind you. No way! How am I supposed to be friends with someone who's in love with my wife? Quagmire is dead to me and needs to be dealt with in an appropriate manner. Shame. Shame on Kiru! This was serious, but it turned into something fun! Glenn? Is that you? Oh, yeah, yeah. And humiliating. Glenn. I can't trust myself around you. It's probably best if I just never see you again. Well, you can't just avoid me forever. We live on the same street. Hmm. Well, then. Cream. Mr. Quagmire, which box do these beads go in? Let me smell them. They go in the big box. Quagmire, I can't believe you're moving. Look, give it time. Peter, Quagmire's serious about this. You gotta do something. You're right. Quagmire, wait! You almost left without this. He did it. Now go to bed. Your grandkids are coming tomorrow. I had a pretty good egg dish last night. What? What, what am I supposed to do with that information? Well, I don't know. So I'm banging this chick, and she's saying to me, I'm worried that Chris won't get into college. And then I says to her, eh, that seems like a legitimate concern. And then I lost my wood, and so we just watched Colbert, and then I took a dump completely nude. Who else but Peter? Please! <laughs> I've never felt so alive! Oh, if only I had a pair of legs. All right. Your fault, Quagmire, fell in love with you. Traipsing around in your tan pants and your green shirt and your soothing voice. My fault? Yeah, everything is messed up. I lost my best friend. My buddies are all fighting. That chick at work is saying stuff that ain't true. Walt Disney built. No, Peter, I said supported. Don't go on the train ride. Lois? Peter? Zod? Hey, you're parked behind my trapezoid thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll move it in a sec. Glenn, all this nonsense has to stop now. The only reason this became an issue is because Peter heard something he wasn't supposed to hear. Got from Superman lives here? And the truth is, we all have private thoughts we don't act on. A and that's okay. For instance, every time I'm on the subway, I want to push a stranger onto the tracks, and that's fine. I don't do it. Just... Friendships. Sometimes I think about going to the hospital and switching the babies around. Somali pirates seem cool, too. I wouldn't mind eating the Philly fanatic. See, we're all terrible people inside. Joe's a little worse than the rest of us, but we all just shove up. Do you love Peter enough to repress your love for me? Peter, if you're willing to forget all about this, I'm more than happy to continue hiding my true feelings. With a game of mini racquetball. Wait, is mini racquetball just ping pong? Kind of. Boy, it's good to have the gang together again. Yeah, well, out that was just a dream I had. Goodbye, James. I couldn't have done it without you. Gotham, an all-new episode tomorrow on Fox. <gasps> oh, bastard matriarch! She has failed once again to replenish this frigid box with potent...
Now, you shouldn't be frightened, Stewie. What you saw was actually a very beautiful thing. Well, evidently, madam, you and I differ greatly in our conception of beauty. Because what I just witnessed, lie. How dare you fill my head with such loathsome propaganda. Get out, you horrid woman. Get out! Okay, honey. I'll go get your teddy bear. Ugh. Oh, good lord, you... 800, there will be a soapbox derby as a reward for all your obedience. <laughs> <laughs>